So it turns out um, only because a police report was released because his mom had to dig it up because she won't even let his mother see him, even though the odds of him recovering are low and his days are numbered and she's not letting mama see him. It's really sad. Um, and mom came all the way like from Georgia to Arizona to see him and she's not letting it happen. But apparently the police report said he tried to unalive himself, which is tragic, but all these things have been coming to light since then. Apparently he started suffering seizures at some point, which are a side effect of this tea that she's been using and giving him. And she's been taking way more than the recommended dose, even though to me, the recommended dose should be zero. Um, but she took him off of his regular prescription medication for mental health issues, supposedly, which that might be a rumor, but definitely for the um, seizures. I've seen her say that. And he's been suffering these seizures that have been causing him a lack of oxygen and he's just totally changed. Apparently she's been like broadcasting his seizures live on Facebook. She has like a supporters group that you have to pay to be part of. And the paid supporters have been seeing him have seizures and seeing all these things happening for the last like year or two. And it's been getting really bad. And she's been saying like, I'm his doctor now. I don't trust these doctors and just giving him this tea that you know way more than the recommended dose over and over and over and it's basically been making him worse and i think honestly that's probably what's causing the seizures i'm no doctor but it started after that he was so healthy before that um but anyway they're saying that he tried to unalive himself um using a rope i won't you know get into that trigger warnings but um he's suffering and she's moved him like from one hospital to another so that the family can't find him because she doesn't want the family to see him. Now the family knows where he is, but the hospital said they're under strict orders to only give information and only allow the wife to visit. They won't let the family in. I think his dad was able to see him at the previous hospital. That's why she moved him because she was mad that they let the dad see him. Um, it's like a whole big thing. She still has a really big paid following, which is crazy to me because honestly, if you look back over these videos, it's eerie. She's been poisoning her fat. She gives this shit to her kids too, which even the people that make it and are trying to promote it and sell this and want you to buy as much as possible say, do not give this to minors. And they recommend a very small dose for adults. She's taking way over that for her and her husband and she's giving it to her kids. She's doing it on camera. She's really like, it's really weird. She's doing full makeup videos. Um, you know, full 10 pound face and makeup and getting dressed with a wig and the whole nine before she even goes to the hospital every day. Meanwhile, her husband is there. Um, I don't think he's on life support anymore, but he was like, and, and she swears he's going to wake up. So the minute that you just spent three hours doing your makeup, like he could have been waking up. Like I just, the whole thing is just bizarre. And this is just a small snippet of it. And you could find reasons why all this makes sense. But if you go to the Facebook groups, one is called Exposing Dre McCray and the other one is Justice for Vaughn.